Urinary Cast Overview. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to discuss an important clinical topic in nephrology, that is urinary casts. Urinary casts are cylindrical structures formed in the renal tubules and are primarily made up of a protein called tam horsefall mucoprotein secreted by the tubular epithelial cells. When certain conditions like low urine flow or concentrated urine occur, this protein solidifies and traps cells or debris, forming casts. Let's start with hyaline casts, the simplest and most common type. These are made purely of TAM horsefall protein without any cellular inclusions. Under the microscope, they appear homogeneous, transparent, and slightly eosinophilic. They are nonspecific and can appear in a variety of conditions, such as chronic kidney disease, or even in healthy individuals during dehydration or after strenuous exercise. Their presence alone doesn't confirm any serious pathology, but they do provide context when viewed alongside clinical symptoms. Next, we have granular casts, which are hyaline casts containing cellular debris from degenerated cells. Under the microscope, these appear larger and have refractive droplets. Granular casts indicate nephron stasis, where kidney tubules are not functioning properly. They are commonly seen in conditions like acute tubular necrosis, advanced glomerulonephritis, pyelonephritis, and malignant nephrosclerosis. These casts suggest more severe tubular injury compared to hyaline casts. A specific subtype of granular casts is the muddy brown cast. These are darker and strongly associated with acute tubular necrosis. Now let's move on to hemoglobin casts. These are formed when red blood cells break down, releasing hemoglobin, which gets trapped in the cast. Microscopically, they have an orange, yellow, or red-brown color. Their presence is a strong indicator of intravascular hemolysis, where red blood cells are destroyed in the bloodstream, releasing free hemoglobin. Another important type is the fatty cast, which contains fat droplets embedded in the protein matrix. These casts are easily recognizable under polarized light due to their characteristic Maltese cross appearance. Fatty casts are almost always associated with nephrotic syndrome, a condition where the kidneys lose a significant amount of protein in the urine. Let's now talk about renal tubular epithelial cell casts. These form when the epithelial cells lining the tubules shed and become embedded in the cast. Under the microscope, these can sometimes resemble white blood cell casts, but careful observation reveals their cellular structure. They are seen in conditions like proliferative glomerulonephritis, interstitial nephritis, and acute tubular necrosis. Interestingly, they can also appear in healthy individuals, so their clinical significance depends on the overall context. Speaking of white blood cell casts, these are formed when WBCs get trapped in the protein matrix. They have sharp margins with visible nuclei under the microscope, making them easier to identify. Their presence strongly suggests acute pyelonephritis, an infection of the kidney. However, they may also appear in tubulointerstitial nephritis, glomerulonephritis, and even transplant rejection. Next, we have red blood cell casts which form when RBCs are trapped in the mucoprotein matrix. Microscopically, these appear as biconcave cells with dark hemoglobin staining. These casts are highly specific for glomerulonephritis, a condition where the glomeruli are inflamed. They can also be seen in hypertensive emergencies where there is significant damage to the glomerular capillaries. Waxy casts are another important type, formed from the degeneration of granular casts. These have a homogeneous appearance with sharp edges and dark borders under the microscope. Waxy casts are typically seen in chronic kidney disease, especially in end-stage renal disease, and indicate long-standing tubular damage. Finally, let's discuss broad casts, which are wider than other casts due to their formation in dilated tubules or collecting ducts with very low urine flow. These casts are a hallmark of advanced chronic kidney disease and suggests severe tubular atrophy and damage. Thank you for watching.